Good afternoon, everybody. How are you all doing? <laughs> Outstanding. Uh, so my name is Ramaya Krishnan. I'm the Dean of the Heinz College of Information Systems and Public Policy, and it's my distinct honor and pleasure to welcome all of you here. So thank you for joining us for this very special occasion as we celebrate um, some amazing achievements of my colleagues, uh, Dr. Lee Brandstetter, Dr. Karen Clay, and Dr. Amelia Haviland. We'd like to extend a warm welcome to Lee's wife, Grace Tan, his son Daniel Brandstetter, his brother Matthew Brandstetter, his grad school advisor and mentor, Professor David Weinstein, who's right there, um, from Columbia, and many other friends, colleagues, and current and former students who are here to celebrate Lee today. And I should mention his uncle, uh, John and Susan Brand, uh, John and his aunt Susan Brandsetter as well. A round of applause. <laughs> We're also happy to welcome Karen's husband, Professor Todd Murray, from CMU's College of Computer Science, it's just next door. Uh, her three sons, uh, Connor Murray, CMU class of 2025, Davis Murray and Grant Murray, CMU class of 2027. Such good choices of schools. <laughs> <laughs> her parents, um, George and Holly Clay, her brother Tom Clay, and her two sisters, Lauren Clay and Sarah Clay Bell. We're delighted to have you all here. <laughs> We'd like to extend a special welcome to Amelia's spouse, Amy Enrico. Her parents, Dr. Janet Jones McGuire and Dr. Terry McGuire. Her sister and brother in law, Dr. Martha Haviland and Jack Schramm. And her friends, Dr. Rachel Rue and Dr. Michael Greenberg, who are joining us today. Welcome. <laughs> so, holding a named professorship is an achievement of scholarly distinction. These professorships honor the impact of Lee, Karen, and Amelia's contributions to economics, to public policy, and to health systems management. And in each of these cases, it sets great expectations of even greater things to come. Today, we honor Lee with the James M. Walton Professorship of Economics and Public Policy, Karen, with the Teresa and A. John Hines III Professorship of Economics and Public Policy, and Amelia with the Eugene Barone Professorship of Health Systems Management. Congratulations. <laughs> to start the program, it's my honor. I'm really happy to introduce Carnegie Mellon's provost and chief academic prof officer, Jim Garrett. A nationally recognized engineer and a lifelong tartan, Provost Garrett has been an, an amazing supporter of the Heinz College, uh, and he's a really good friend. Uh, please join me in welcoming Provost Garrett. Jim. Uh, thank you, Krishnan, for that uh, very kind introduction. And uh, thank you for your inspired leadership of the Heinz College. As most of you know, Krishnan has shared his plans to step down as, as dean at the end of uh, this academic year. Uh, I'm sure uh, that you all share my gratitude for, uh, to him for all that he has brought to this amazing college. His amazing energy and leadership of, of the Heinz College is, uh, is going to be an impact felt for a very long time. Let's, uh, let's give Christian on that a big round. And personally, personally, it's been a real pleasure uh, working with you uh, in, in this capacity. 
So before I, before I begin, uh, I do want to take a moment to acknowledge uh, those uh, uh, folks from around uh, the uh, university who are here uh, also uh, from outside of the Heinz College uh, joining us today. Uh, thank you for being here. And uh, today's recipients, their families and supporters, it's really nice to see a large number of uh, family members here celebrating with uh, our uh, our esteemed colleagues receiving this recognition today. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you all uh, here to Carnegie Mellon uh, for this uh, very special celebration. <clears throat> As provost, I get to interact with almost every corner of this university. Um, some want me to be more interactive, others less, but uh, Heinz has always welcomed me here, and so I'm very grateful to be here. And uh, while every day is uh, certainly interesting, I can uh, honestly say that celebrating professorships is one of the uh, big joys uh, I get to have as being provost. Um, a few weeks ago, I had a chance to speak uh, to some of our new uh, faculty members at the uh, incoming faculty orientation, and I shared with them uh, the same thing that I, I will tell you, that witnessing our faculty evolve and thrive during their time here at Carnegie Mellon is something that I, I truly cherish. Uh, it's what makes uh, my job rewarding, it's what makes uh, Christian's job rewarding, and uh, any faculty mentors former advisors, seeing their, their, um, their students or, or their faculty colleagues uh, get this recognition is quite uh, fulfilling. And it's an honor for me to be part of this celebration that recognizes uh, these uh, three world-class faculty members. Uh, Endowed professorships, as Krishnan said, are among the highest academic honors that the university can bestow upon any of our uh, members of the faculty. Uh, it, it, as I was telling some of the uh, folks uh, here today, I said uh, this is a very important milestone in a, in a faculty member's career to be recognized uh, as such. Uh, and uh, believe, we, when you hear the term chaired professor, we actually uh, give chairs. Uh, so, uh, you know, the, the, uh, it, it allows our recipients to be also to have access to resources uh, that will expand their research and, and generate uh, impactful work for many, many years to come. Uh, Heinz College is a place where people, policy, and technology come together uh, to share the future. And professorships like these allow our faculty members to drive the, these ideals forward and to continue to shape the world through research, creativity, and discovery. And to that end, I extend my sincere uh, gratitude to the Heinz Foundation uh, for their longstanding support of Heinz, CMU, and, and, and the entire region. To our recipients, Lee, Karen and Amelia. This is an exciting milestone, as I said uh, previously, and we are really so pleased to recognize you uh, and your excellence in teaching and research here at Carnegie Mellon University. And on behalf of President Farnham Jahanian and all of our leadership uh, at CMU, I offer you my sincere congratulations uh, on receiving this truly significant honor. And I look forward to learning about your future accomplishments. And as one of your uh, um, previous, uh, he's still a faculty member here, but he's the former provost, would say, getting one of these chairs also indicates that you are in, you know, supposed to stay here for a very long period of time. <laughs> <clears throat> and so uh, with that, I will hand things back over to Krishnan. Thank you very much, Jim. Um, we certainly uh, hope they're going to be here for a very, very long time indeed. Um, so um, the Heinz Family Foundation, as part of the Heinz Philanthropies, established the James M. Walton <coughs> Professorship of Economics and Public Policy in, in the year 2000 in honor of Dr. James Walton, um, Vice Chairman of the Heinz Endowments. Uh, to support a faculty member in the Heinz College. James M. Walton received an honorary doctorate from Carnegie Mellon University in 2003 and was an emeritus trustee of this university. The Heinz Family Foundation, together with 
Teresa and A. John Hines III Foundation, and the A. John Hines III Foundation comprised the Hines Family Philanthropies. The Hines Family Philanthropies are leaders in the national discussion on the environment, human health, and aging, and on women's economic opportunities and cultural and societal enrichment. So it's my pleasure today to recognize Lee Brandstetter. Lee received his PhD in economics from Harvard University. He joined the Heinz College faculty in 2006 as a tenured associate professor. Lee is part of the faculty leadership team of the Future of Work Initiative at the Block Center for Technology and Society. It's been a great pleasure working with Lee in that capacity. He's also a research associate of the National Bureau of Economic Research. Before coming to Carnegie Mellon, Lee was the Daniel G. Stanton Associate Professor of Business and the Director of the International Business Program at Columbia Business School. He has also taught at the University of California, Davis, where he was the Director of the East Asian Studies Program and at Dartmouth College. From the fall of 2011 through the summer of 2012, Lee was on leave from Carnegie Mellon serving on the staff of President Obama's Council of Economic Advisors as a senior economist for international trade and investment. Lee's research focuses on the economics of innovation and the economic and social impact of new technologies. Many of his recent projects have involved interdisciplinary collaboration with CMU's community of computer scientists, learning scientists, and experts in information systems. Over the years, Lee has published widely in a variety of journals, including the Quarterly Journal of Economics, Management Science, the Rand Journal of Economics, the Economic Journal, and Journal of International Economics. Lee, please join me at the stage. On behalf of Carnegie Mellon University and the Heinz College, I'd like to thank you for your contributions. It gives me great pleasure to appoint you as the James M. Walton Professor of Economics and Public Policy and present you with this gift. That's a chair. Uh, <laughs> and whether it's actually remarkably comfortable, I can tell you from personal experience, yeah, uh, to mark this very important occasion. Congratulations and we look forward to all that is to come. Congratulations, Luke. And the podium is yours. I hope you will. Well, thank you so much, Dean Krishnan, for those kind words and for your energetic and inspired leadership of the Heinz College. And I'm grateful to the Heinz family for making possible this great honor, which means so much to me. Today, I reflect on the improbable journey of my life from a tiny town in Kentucky to Harvard, to the Obama White House, and to this moment. And I acknowledge with gratitude that no one goes on a journey like this alone. So many have helped me on the way. I'm going to start with thanks to my wife, Grace, our son, Daniel. I'm grateful for the presence today of my brother, Matt, my aunt and uncle, uh, John and Susan Brandstetter, uh, my cousins, Jennifer and Lee Wong. Uh, thank you for your love and support over the years. I also thank my many colleagues, collaborators, co-authors, and thought partners who are celebrating this milestone with me today, including Heinz College colleagues, Lowell Taylor, Brian Kovac, Bebe Lee especially, um, many others. And uh, I'm grateful for the presence of Ray Reagans from MIT, Britta Glennon from Penn, and from CMU's Human Computer Interaction Institute, Carolyn Rose. Thank you for your willingness to collaborate often across interdisciplinary boundaries, and thank you for being willing to boldly go where no research team has ever gone before. <laughs> I'm grateful for the presence of my grad school advisor, Professor David Weinstein of Columbia University, who's guided my academic journey from its beginning. And I also want to recognize the presence today of another teacher, my pastor, the Reverend Austin Crenshaw Shelley, the first female senior pastor in my congregation's history of more than 150 years, 
and her presence here is testament to my conviction that a personal religious faith and a pursuit of scientific truth need not be enemies, but can instead be powerful allies in the cause of human advancement. But my most important teachers and mentors were my parents, and they cannot be here today because they're no longer in this world. Larry Brandstetter died when I was still a boy. Sandra Henderson died in 2005 before she could even meet both my sons, much less watch them grow up. But their love and care for me, more than anything else, set me on a path towards scholarship. And rooted as I am in their faith tradition, I believe that somehow they can look on this day and they can see their son reach this milestone. And I believe that somehow they can hear the words that I'm about to speak to you. Mom and Dad, I love you, I miss you, I thank you. But there's one more group that I need to acknowledge, uh, and that's my students. So if you are or ever were my student, could you raise your hand? There we go. Now, it seems like only yesterday I was standing at the stage of life that you are at now. And I have to tell you that the years that separate my stage of life now from yours will pass more quickly than you can possibly now imagine. So make those years count. And to help you do that, I'm going to give you a homework assignment. <laughs> now, this homework assignment may take the balance of your professional lives to complete, but it's no more and no less than the charge my advisors and mentors placed upon me. Commit yourselves to careful science and creative scholarship. Build up this great edifice of science, which is not the property of any one race or creed or nation, but the commonwealth of all humanity. Have the chutzpah to do what's never been done before. Light up the darkness with your reason, with your passion, with the tools you've been given. Now, I will not be able to labor in the vineyard of knowledge forever, although I will still be working for a while. <laughs> but when I'm gone, you and your students and their students will continue this great work on through generations yet to come. And the light of their scholarship will guide the pathway to our descendants to heights of human achievement of which today we can only dream. This is our great calling. If your heart is in the work, I know we'll get there. I look at you and I know the future is in good hands. So thank you, everyone, collaborators and colleagues, friends and family, mentors, teachers, and students for being part of my improbable journey. Thank you so much for being here today. May God bless you all. Thank you, Lee. Please join me giving him another round of applause. The, the Teresa and John, A. John Hines III Professorship of Economics and Public Policy was established in 1997 by the Howard Hines Endowment to support a faculty member in the Hines College. For generations, the Heinz Endowments, and I should note that we are very grateful for the extraordinary support that the Heinz Endowments have provided to Carnegie Mellon and to Heinz College over the years. They've been devoted to improving the quality of life in southwestern Pennsylvania and to addressing the multitude of challenges this region faces. Uh, and in this, their fundamental mission has never changed, and they've also committed to using the most dynamic and transformative approaches to achieving their objectives and keeping pace with evolving societal needs and pressures. The endowments is energetically pursuing its goal of helping southwestern Pennsylvania prosper as a vibrant center for creativity, learning, and social, economic, and environmental sustainability. Now it's my pleasure to recognize Karen Clay. Karen earned her PhD 
in economics from Stanford University and holds courtesy appointments at the Tepper School of Business across the road here in the Department of Engineering and Public Policy. And before joining Carnegie Mellon faculty in 1997, Karen was an assistant professor at the University of Toronto. Karen is a senior fellow at the Scott Institute for Energy Innovation at Carnegie Mellon, an affiliated faculty member at the University of Pittsburgh School of Law, and a research associate at the National Bureau of Economic Research. Karen's research interests include environmental economics, energy economics, economic history, and health economics. Her research has been supported by the National Science Foundation, the Department of Energy, and the Sloan Foundation. Karen's work has been published in the Journal of Political Economy, the Review of Economics and Statistics, and the American Economic Review, Papers and Proceedings. Karen, will you please join me at the podium? <clears throat> On behalf of Carnegie Mellon and the Heinz College, I'd like to thank you for your many contributions. It gives me great pleasure to appoint you as the Theresa and H. John Heinz III Professor of Economics and Public Policy to present you with this gift, again, to mark this important occasion. So congratulations, Karen. The podium is there. So friends, colleagues, and honored guests, I am deeply grateful to be receiving the Teresa and H. John Hines III Professorship of Public Policy. Uh, the Hines family has been a longstanding and generous supporter of the Hines College, and I want to express my sincere gratitude to them. I also wish to acknowledge the previous holder of this professorship, Daniel Nagin, whose scholarship and service to the school has set an incredibly high bar for me and for those that follow in this chair. I'm fortunate to have so many uh, people who have supported me throughout my career here today. Uh, my gratitude extends to my family, my co-authors, colleagues, and friends. My career has far exceeded my expectations. Uh, kind of like Lee, uh, this, this has been perhaps a little bit of an improbable journey. Um, and yet, uh, it's really been uh, fulfilling, and I've gotten here in large part due to the thanks and encouragement of people in this room. Um, I consider myself incredibly lucky to have all of you in my life, and fortunate to have made my career at Carnegie Mellon. I want to note that my family's uh, relationship to Carnegie Mellon runs really deep. Uh, my husband, Todd Mowry, and I uh, moved here in 1997. He's in the School of Computer Science. Uh, as was mentioned, uh, our sons, uh, Connor and Grant, are both uh, students at Carnegie Mellon. And our son, Davis, has had uh, a number of internships at the Carnegie Mellon Children's School. Uh, so we are all proud tartans. Todd, you've been by my side uh, since our time at Stanford, uh, supporting me in countless ways to become the person that I am today. I could not have gotten here without you. Um, to our children, you have been a great source of joy, and I am extremely proud of who you are and who you will become. Um, I'm also grateful to be joined today by my parents, Holly and George Clay, and my three siblings, Tom, Lauren, and Sarah. Thank you for your constant love and support uh, through the highs and lows of my career and life. Um, I was fortunate to grow up in a household where everyone had a deep love of learning, uh, and it's really carried us all uh, a long ways. I feel fortunate to have had amazing colleagues at Heinz, throughout Carnegie Mellon, and at the University of Pittsburgh. Uh, time does not allow me to uh, talk about each one of you, uh, but know that I am deeply grateful for your contributions. I do want to acknowledge my two closest collaborators uh, over the last several years, Edson Severnini and Akshay Jha. You are both outstanding researchers, 
and our group, which includes five PhD students and a postdoc right now, uh, is doing exciting work in energy and environmental economics. I'm grateful for all of the research that we've done so far and am excited about our upcoming projects. On the administrative front, I want to thank Mark Camlet, who hired me when he was dean and later served as provost, uh, and to thank Dean Krishnan. Uh, the school has thrived under your leadership. I'm thankful for the many friends, both academic and non-academic, who are here today. Uh, thank you so much for coming and for making our time in Pittsburgh uh, really fun. Uh, you know, for dinners and parties and church events and school gatherings and for helping us navigate through the challenges of COVID. As an energy and environmental economist and an economic historian, as well as the recipient of the Heinz Chair, I want to conclude with a quote from Rachel Carson, who grew up uh, in Western Pennsylvania and attended college here. Her most famous book, Silent Spring, was published 62 years ago in 1962. Although the book is older than I am, her message remains profoundly relevant today. She writes, we in this generation must come to terms with nature, and I think we're challenged, as mankind has never been challenged before, to prove our maturity and our mastery, not of nature, but of ourselves. Thank you. If I might ask you to indulge me in another round of applause for Karen. <laughs> Thank you. So, created in 1996 by the Blue Cross of Western Pennsylvania, the Eugene Barone Professorship of Health Systems Management honors the legacy of Eugene J. Barone, a Pittsburgh native who served as the former chair, president, and CEO of Blue Cross of Western PA from 1984 to 1994. E.J. Barone was known for his commitment to community service. It's my pleasure to recognize Amelia Haviland today. Prior to joining the Heinz College faculty as an associate professor in 2011, Amelia was a senior statistician at the Rand Corporation. Amelia earned a joint PhD in statistics and public policy from Carnegie Mellon University in 2003. And she was a recipient of the Anna Loomis McCandless Chair, a Thomas Lord Distinguished Scholar Award from the Institute of Civil Justice at Rand, a MacArthur Fellowship for Younger Scholars from the MacArthur Research Network on Social Interactions and Economic Inequality, and a Ray Jackson Smith Scholarship from the Section on Government Statistics from the American Statistical Association. Amelia is named a Fellow of the American Statistical Association in 2021. Amelia's research focuses on the causal analysis with observational data and analysis of longitudinal and complex survey data applied to policy analysis and policy issues in health and criminology. She has served on two National Research Council panels, one focused on deterrence and the death penalty, and the other on impact and legality of proactive policing. Amelia's work has been published in journals such as Psychometrica, Psychological Methods, Review of Economics and Statistics, Journal of Human Resources, Survey Methodology, Criminology, Health Affairs, Health Services Research, Medical Care, and the Forum for Health Economics and Policy. Amelia, will you please join me at the podium? <clears throat> It's one of my achievements, I think, to have recruited Amelia back from Rand to Heinz. Um, so on behalf of Carnegie Mellon University and Heinz College, I'd like to thank you, Amelia, for your many contributions. 
gives me great pleasure to appoint you as a Eugene Barone Professor of Health Systems Management and to present you with that gift <laughs> to mark this uh, momentous occasion. So congratulations, Emilia. Thank you all and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I will be short um, as the last one. So I would like to thank Mr. Eugene Barone's colleagues um, at Blue Cross of Western Pennsylvania for establishing this chair at Carnegie Mellon in his honor. As I looked into Mr. Barone's life a bit, I was interested to learn that he developed a program called the Caring Program for Children, sponsored by his employer which provided free and low-cost health care coverage to children from working uninsured families, and that he considered this his proudest professional achievement. Uh, I was also interested to learn of his deep commitment to civic duty, as, as the dean mentioned, um, here in our local area. Um, uh, he had a, a long-term position at the Sickle Cell Society, at the United Way, was on the Board of Trustees at Seton Hill. Um, these aspects of his life make me especially honored to hold the Barone chair um, and seem especially congruent with my focus on equity. Um, so I'm uh, especially honored in those regards. I'd like to next thank Dean Krishnan and Associate Dean Dan Nagan um, for nominating me for this chair and for the remarkable opportunities and support they've provided me as a faculty member here at Heinz College. As collaborators and friends, um, I would like to thank all my colleagues here at Heinz College, at the wider CMU, um, and at the Rand Corporation uh, for helping uh, to support me in my career. I'd especially like to name Mark Elliott, Dan Nagan, Lowell Taylor, Michael Greenberg, Rachel Rue, Roni Rosenfeld, Marty Gaynor, Denise Rousseau, Brian Kovac, Doreen Bosma, Laura Sinat, and Emily Marshall. Uh, for impacts early in my career and for their continued support, I would like to thank Valerie Ventura, Catherine Rader, Lowell Taylor, uh, the late Stephen Feinberg, and especially Joel Greenhouse, and my sister, Martha Haviland. for inspiring me every day and reminding me there are multiple ways to be an impactful academic. I would like to thank my parents, Dr. Jeanette Jones, psychologist, and Dr. Terry McGuire, geneticist. So for reminding me about the power of creativity in the arts, in addition to our arts and entertainment management students, which I get the pleasure of working with, um, I would also like to uh, thank my brothers, Alex and Daniel, and our late sister, Ellie. For bringing joy, I would like to thank all of my students and my nephews, Nick, Isaac, and Isidore. And finally, for building this life and my career together and being my biggest supporter, I'd like to thank my wonderful spouse, Amy Rico. Thank you. Congratulations. So we're getting to the end of our program here. Um, so thank you so much, um, Provost Garrett, um, to the Heinz Family Philanthropies, the Heinz Endowments, the Blue Cross of Western PA, and to all of you for joining in today's celebration. It's really always such a pleasure to take part in these, these events, as Jim mentioned. This is one of the, the highlights of being dean, and the kind of role that Jim plays to celebrate members of our community for their amazing accomplishments. We look forward to the continued success of Lee, Karen, and Amelia. Now, as you know, the weather in Pittsburgh is always blue skies and sunny, <laughs> so enjoy the weather. Um, and of course, please stay and enjoy the reception and congratulate our outstanding recipients. Thank you again for being here, and thank you so much. <laughs>